our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Masvidal is 35, Diaz is 37. He will have a two inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, Nick! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 35 wins, 14 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. Oh, how good is it to see Nick Diaz, the pride of the 209, back in the octagon tonight? Unfortunately, inactivity has become part of the narrative, but there's no denying when Nick Diaz competes, it is must-see television. He's always fighting one of the better fighters in the world. More often than not, his hand will be raised. Nick Diaz in another huge spot in his MMA career tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, here we go. Our first round is underway, and you know at some point he's going to try to get this fight to the canvas. Any number of different submissions in his arsenal. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger. Does he pull guard? Does he pretend that he got knocked down? We saw Verdum do it right. to Fedor. Act like he got knocked down. Fedor jumps his guard, gets the submission. This man has that same ability. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar side. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Big knee lands there. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! So we pull up the numbers here. 28 total strikes have now landed for Jorge Masvidal. Oh, my goodness. Diaz's knee attempt here looked like a good one, but it gets blocked. Oh! Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. He may want to focus on some defense here moving forward. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Punches blocked. Got clip of the right hand. Oh, he 
he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Just out of the range with that right hand. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? We'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take effect. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. He's back in the position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Diaz is overhand punched to the head, doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. The right hook to the body. Flush right hand is true. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Right hand punch to the clinch. Both guys really throwing with authority. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Good stick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one of the in the box. So, fire a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Blocks the shot. And he landed the right hand there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Nice body kick there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and a miss by Diaz. And they separate. Final seconds here of round number two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Hook shot lands. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face Tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. That last round's over. He took his best shots and smiled back. Now it's your turn. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Some Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. 
And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! 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 He's out! Oh, my goodness! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so... Near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at 1 minute 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight.